This is Ali here from All Saints Isleworth. Today, for our time of prayer for the day, we're going to be doing evening prayer for Monday the 4th of May. This is slightly different to usual, uh, but I thought it would be nice just to do something a little bit different. So let's have a moment of quiet before we begin. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise for ever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your son to life in triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Our psalm for tonight is Psalm 113. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. Alleluia. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. O oh, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and for evermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God that has his throne so high, yet humbles himself to behold the things of heaven and earth? He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ashes to set them with princes, with the princes of his people. He gives the barren woman a place in the house and makes her a joyful mother of children. Alleluia. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. From the rising of the sun to its setting, we praise your name, O Lord. May your promise to raise the poor from the dust and turn the fortunes of the needy upside down be fulfilled in our time also, as it was in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. A short reading from Ephesians chapter 4, starting at verse 1. Paul writes, I therefore, the prisoner in the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, 
bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. He has become my salvation. Glory to the Lord and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. We now have our time of intercession. On this day that the Lord has made, let us pray for the people he has redeemed. That we may live as those who believe in the triumph of the cross. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer that all people may receive the good news of his victory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That those born to new life in the waters of baptism may know the power of his resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. that those who suffer pain and anguish may find healing and peace in the wounds of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That in the undying love of Christ, we may be united with all who have died in the faith of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us commend in the world in which Christ rose from the dead to the mercy and protection of God. Amen. The Collect for Today Merciful God, who, when your church on earth was torn apart by the ravages of sin, raised up men and women in this land who witnessed to their faith with courage and constancy. Give to your church that peace which is your will and grant that those who have been divided on earth may be reconciled in heaven and share together in the vision of your glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Rejoicing in God's new creation, As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. So that's the end of our evening prayer for today. I hope you've all had a good day and do join us for prayers during the rest of this week. Have a good every evening, everybody, and uh, God bless you and give you peace. Bye.